Hi everyone, my name is Georgina Hagen and I'm currently playing Miss Fleming in the Heathers UK tour. Um, it's a double show day here today in Wimbledon, so I am going to take you around with me and show you some backstage footage from Heathers. Shine, shine, shine alive. Shine, shine, shine alive. Shine, shine, shine alive. So we have just been called to stage for physical and vocal warm-up um, and I'm going to take you with me. So I have just come into the stage right wing and thought I would film a little bit of what set pieces are here. So we have our Porky Pinata, um, the cheerleaders pom-poms and then this is our stage right props trundle. So we have lots of good things. We've got the uh, Veronica's mum's snacks, microphones, I mean how real do those crackers look and I promise you they're not. They are fake, plastic, amazing crackers. We also have a cut show today, um, have a couple of cast members who are unfortunately poorly, so we have a list of set changes that goes up onto every single trundle side stage so that everyone knows what exactly what it is that they are doing and there can be no mistakes made. Let me take you onto stage. So I'm on the stage now and I'm going to introduce you to a few of our cast members, um, starting with the amazing... I'm Becca Wicks and I'm currently playing Veronica Sawyer. Yes she is! Also, can we just at this amazing auditorium? Hiya Wimbledon. Making Westerberg one hell of a home for us this week. Oh so, today we have Sam Stones on for Kurt's dad and Principal Gowan and also my husband! And also beleaguered geek as well because you know, yes, still got to do normal doing stuff. So what are you doing, a split track? Double split track, yes. Double split track, can you explain to the viewers what that means, please? Uh, that means I will be doing my cover stuff, but then I will also happen to be doing some of my normal track. So in certain numbers I'll be playing the geek, where uh, I have my own lines that can't be covered by anyone else in the company. There we have it. Talent, 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 people. <laughs> I look like I've just discovered a camera for the first time. Would you care to introduce yourself, please, to the viewers of YouTube? Oh, hello, YouTube. I'm Meryl. And you play? Answer. And I play Heather. <laughs> Do you? There she is. <laughs> it's too early. So, our amazing dance captain, Daisy, is about to lead physical warm-up for the entire company. We do this on stage every day before the show. And believe us, she puts us through our paces. Yes, she does. it would be quite so difficult oh in, not in focus quite so difficult to film a physical warm-up and do a physical warm-up so I'll see you back for vocal dance captain Daisy is doing the reblock of the show I thought I would show you a little bit of the set and the stage left wing so that I can um, show you what's here so this is our stage left prop trundle this is where we have the famous croquet mallets red blue green yellow and again all sorts of different props that are used in the show we've got Kurt's football phone curtain ram, um, our trays for beautiful, the balm, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show, fake balm, and pinata number two, Martha pinata. And then normally in every theatre we have something that's called a quick change area, so for when the show is happening we need somewhere that we can preset our costumes, run back to and change, or have a sit down whilst we're in between scenes. And this week in Wimbledon, it is literally behind the stage. So we have this lovely piece of curtain that is separating 
the quick change from the stage and the show happening and this is where we all sit so let me see we have this is my chair so i have veronica's mum's costumes preset for me to change into underneath that i believe i have my big fun costume um, and Lynn and Abby, our dressers, who are incredible. Just make sure that everything is set up um, for each individual person, all in order of how they need things. But also here, we have our, where are we? Understudy costumes. So, for example, here we have Rianne's Heather Duke costume. We have... Um, Daisy's Heather Mack costume, we've got May's Veronica costume, it's all happening. Down here we have the boys, lots of lovely things going on down here. Everyone has their own individual seat with their name tag. Thought that was a, I'm going to stand in the mirror so I don't have to flip you around. Hello everyone. Um, thought that was a good thing to show you so that you can see, and this will be where I will be doing a lot of my recording during the show tonight. Just finished warm up and I am back in my dressing room doing my makeup. I like looking hot, buying stuff they cannot. I like drinking hard, maxing dad's credit card. I like skipping gym, scaring her, screwing him. I like killer clothes, kick for the show um, we are about to have our quarter hour call which will be a very loud announcement on the tannoy um, but I posted on my Instagram a couple of days ago that I was doing this vlog and I asked for you to ask me your Heather's related questions so I have saved a few and I thought that I would answer questions on the vlog so Forgive me if I pronounce any of your um, in handles incorrectly, I do apologise. Um, Issyr2321 asked if I could be an opposite gender character in Heathers, who would I be? And I think the answer would be JD. Just because I think he goes on quite a journey. Um, I think he's quite a fun character to portray. Um, Thomas Kiddo, uh, Thomas underscore Kiddo, sorry, asked, who has been my favourite Steve that I've picked over the tour? Ooh. There have been a few, but Piercing Steve was my favourite. Uh, Summer Sinclair, um, asked what's on the note that Veronica writes on for the me inside of me um, the note is actually a prop note so there's already um, Heather Chandler's suicide note is written already um, so she just pretends to write members of the quarter hour call. company this is your quarter hour call you have 15 minutes this is your quarter hour call you have 15 minutes thank you there we go um, so Watson Dot Watson asked, what's your favorite scene to perform? I actually really love the opening number, Beautiful. Um, that entire 11 minute number is actually one of my favorites. Um, also, I think it's a really lovely introduction to some of the characters. Um, Amelia Pret asked, what are your favorite qualities about Miss Fleming? I love her kookiness. I don't think she actually means anything in a malicious way. She just gets wrapped up in, in in everything that's happening. But I do love that, you know, she. I think she clearly genuinely cares about the students, otherwise she wouldn't hold the assembly. Um, can't do too many of these. I got so many questions um, yesterday. I got almost a thousand questions, um, which is mad. Uh, 
so many of you asking multiple questions as well. Um, underscore Sophie Galvin asked, what's been your favourite venue so far? I would have to say Dublin. Um, we felt like we were abroad. Well, we were abroad, but we felt like we were abroad. It was lovely to have a week in Ireland and we, we had, you know, beautiful apartments that we stayed in. It was just, it was just spectacular. Plus the Dublin Borgosh Theatre, if you've never been there, please go. It's the most stunning venue. Yeah. Ardilla, or Ardelaide Disney? Ardilla D Disney? I'm so sorry if I'm not uh, pronouncing that correctly. Who is your fave ensemble character? My favourite ensemble character is actually Beleaguered Geek. I see him so much throughout my track, through my show. Um, I was played by the incredible Sam Stones, who I'm sure you've met by now because I introduced you guys to him in warm up, um, and he plays him spot on. It's he's perfect. Um, but Beleaguered Geek would be is my favourite ensemble character. Um, Robin Jane 16 asked if I could play any other character in Heather's who would it be and why I think I would like to play Heather Chandler just 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 to see what that journey's like going from bitchy candy store Chandler to dead goofy Chandler I think I you know I love that plus I love that she's a, like part of the team of the Heathers um, Ads head underscore seventy one. What's your favourite song to perform? Obviously, Shine a Light. Couldn't couldn't come on here and say it would be anything else. Um, Brona underscore Bergen. Hi, Brona. Um, what was the most fun part of rehearsals? Getting to meet everybody, getting to know everybody. Also, applying all of the work needed, learning the show um, is always really fun when you've got other people in the room. It's very different when you're just at home with a script on your own um, so it's nice to start putting everything into action um, Charlotte Nickel 88 when you call people out in the audience how do you come up with your lines honestly I have to just focus on something about a gentleman's appearance and run with it um, it's worked for me so far I've never actually been able to plan anything it's just had to come out in the spare of the moment um, Olivia underscore Bell. Favourite Steve reaction? Now, a gentleman in Dublin, when I said that I had faked it, right after I had said that, he said, so did I. And he got a bigger laugh than I did. So whoever that Steve was, got Daisy singing in the corridor. Um, to whoever did that, thank you very much. Made me laugh. Uh, Hannah Oxley, what's the best thing about the cast you work with? I mean, I know it sounds cheesy, but we really are one big family and we really feel it when somebody's off poorly or if there's somebody missing. We're only a small cast anyway, we're a cast of 18, um, so we really notice it when someone's not here. For example, today we've got three people off because um, they're all very poorly, um, but we are one big family and we all support each other, we all love each other very much and I think that comes across in the show as well ultimately the show is about love and acceptance and um, I think that that we that we do love each other Heather, Heather's ex Chandler um, favourite song you don't sing? favourite song I don't sing? Dead Gay Son oh my gosh how could you not love Dead Gay Son? Zealand 410 how do you feel that there's only one month left of the tour <laughs> I'm sad I'm sad about it I don't want it to I don't want it to come to an end I really don't I'm having the time of my life um, I've just seen that this is like eight minutes of footage and no one's gonna want to watch that much so I am gonna chop this little section here but thank you so much for all of your questions but for now before I take you downstairs at the start of the show um, I am going to sign off and do a bit of a vocal warm up. So they've just called beginners and I'm going to show you some of the 
side stage antics. So this, Becca's being poppered into her opening frock. And this is her quick change chair. So when she comes off in beautiful, she has to rip her dress off, which is all on poppers, and pop on the famous blue. I'm going to see if I can come out of this gap. And there's the curtain. The auditorium is jumping today. So it is the interval. We're about to get Act 2 beginners. I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much um, for following this vlog and the little bits that I was allowed to film and what I was allowed to film. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Um, I'm gonna um, pop everything in the comments box below. Um, so you can come and follow me on Instagram, come follow me on Twitter, follow the cast. Um, yeah, it's been lovely spending the afternoon with you.